Tonight, we continue our weekly look behind the scenes of the Cedar Rapids Police Department with the Internal Affairs Division. They provide oversight for the department and are key in building trust with the public. CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett is here with this week's Citizens Police Academy. Yes, Scott and Tiffany, it's a very detailed and important process. This year, they've had 40 investigations. They're also dealing with seven lawsuits, which the department declined to speak on. It's a very private division, but they did give our class some insight into how it all works. You don't have to go that far on YouTube to find them. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Video after video from cities nationwide. I miss your hand! Get off! Of alleged police brutality and misconduct. Whether founded or unfounded, the public perception created by these incidents often furthers that gap of trust between the public and police. We're no different than anybody else. As police officers, we make mistakes, but if we make them, we'll own up to them. It's Lieutenant Brent Long's job to look into misconduct locally for CRPD, essentially policing the police. I know, believe it or not, there's two sides to every story. I don't know if I always get the, the story straight the first time. I have to do a lot of investigation to get that. That investigation starts with a complaint, and Long stays busy. We have complaints all the time. Every day I get a complaint. They swore at me. They didn't treat me very good. Weeding out the founded from the unfounded can take some time. It requires interviews from witnesses, victims, and the officers themselves. A so-called early warning system, which tracks past complaints, also helps. If an officer's name keeps popping up or an employee's, then we know that something's not right. After gathering the facts, which could take two to three months, the information is presented to the man at the top. They investigate them completely and uh, forward the, their results of the investigation to myself. Chief German says he knows how important maintaining trust is. With shootings breaking out in the area recently, he's depending on the public for information. But respect and trust is a two-way street. The community needs to know and believe that uh, the police department operates appropriately. Long tells us that CRPD is currently considering body cameras for officers. He says he's doing research on the constitutionality. Now, next week, we head out to the shooting range to see the tools officers use in the fight against crime. Jason Hackett, CBS 2 News, 10 at 10.